much for watching. Um, this is the Knit Now Swatch Later podcast. My name is Courtney, and I'll be your host. Um, I'm from Pennsylvania, and uh, today is October 24th, 2019. I've been wanting to do this for a really long time. Uh, I watch the Bull and Vine podcast, and she's always got fun stuff going on, and I fell in love with the Hey Sister Girls, um, Bob Wolf Girl, Sits and Knits, and the Crazy Sock Lady are just to name a few of the podcasts that have inspired me to do this. Um, like I said, I've wanted to do it for a long time to try to keep myself accountable for projects that I start and don't typically finish. Um, <laughs> so... If you struggle with that, like I do, uh, this is probably a good, <laughs> we can keep each other accountable that way. Um, if you hear any uh, clicking in the background, that's my dog, Tilly. Uh, she's an Australian Shepherd, and she might be popping in occasionally to uh, see what I'm doing. So, um, but let's go ahead and get started. You can find me as Pup on Ravelry. Um, and starting with some finished objects. This is the Slip Away Cowl by the Crazy Sock Lady. I test knit this for her and it was, it worked up so quickly. Um, I loved working on this. I love testing for Kay. She's so nice and, uh, she really cares, like, what, what you have to say and she makes the improvements, so always a good thing. Just pop this on here. Um, it is knit in fingering weight. Oh, here's Miss Tilly. Say hi to the camera. Say hi to the camera, Tilly. Okay, off. Big girl. Alright, so. Um, it's a fingering weight cowl with the chevron striping. Um, it uses the mosaic knitting technique, so you're only knitting one with one color at a time, which really makes it go pretty quickly. Um, the pink here is from Hey Sister Yarn Company. It is on their LNC sock base, and the color is Clean Buttercup. Um, I got that as part of their Princess Bride uh, monthly subscription box that they did. Um, and then the gray, I'm not really sure what that is. It's just something I had left over laying around, so I just popped it in there. Um, I knit this on a US size 5 needle, 3.75 millimeter, which is the needle that's called for in the pattern. Um, my gauge was a little tight, so mine is a little bit smaller than it should be, but works just the same. <laughs> um, let's see. These I finished quite a while ago, but I um, just washed and blocked them, so counts as finished object, right? So these are the, uh, I can't get it to focus, here we go. Uh, these are the Snowfall Socks by Tabby Gandy from Hey Sister. Um, this is another test knit that I did. There we go. And this yarn, I don't have the name of the yarn because I wasn't planning on talking about these. Um, but this is yarn that my husband picked up for me while he was in Germany on a work trip. So they have a, a cute story behind that. Um, he was determined to come home with some yarn for me. So um, he found a, a little yarn shop that there was no one spoke English at all. And he just found two colors of yarn. This is also from Germany. Um, he found two colors of yarn that he thought that I would like together. And he did his best to communicate with the uh, woman at the counter and he came home with yarn. So he did a good job, right? Um, Next uh, finished object. These I also finished a while ago. Um, but like I said, you wouldn't know that unless I told you. So these are, I called them the vanilla latte socks, and it's just a vanilla sock pattern. I did 
uh, toe up. And this was a sock blank that my husband got me for Christmas last year. Um, it had little coffee cups on it and it was really cute. Um, and it also has some glitter in it, although it's hard to see on the camera. And that's pretty much it for finished objects. Um, for works in progress, I'm looking, all my stuff is around me on the floor, so that's why I'm kind of looking around. <laughs> um, I watched a lot of people's first episodes before I started this to kind of figure out what, what I should talk about. And everyone else mentioned their cozy memory blanket. So I thought, I'll do that too. So uh, here is my cozy memory blanket. And this pattern is called The Coziest Memory by Kemper Ray. And not very far as you can see. Um, this gets put on the back burner a lot because it's just a scrappy project. Um, so I keep it in my bedroom and I'll pick it up to knit a couple rows before bed every once in a while, but other than that, it doesn't get a lot of attention. These squares here are my favorite. Um, these are the Doctor Who companion set um, that Bad Wolf Girl did, and I got companions volumes one and two. I was very excited about that. And uh, this stitch marker came with I believe it was the volume one of the companions and it's one of the little adiposes so cute um, that's pretty much it like I said it's a back burner project um, I'm using the called for needle size these are the needles I'm using they are the knitters pride carbons and I love using them for small projects like this because they uh, have some grip to them, which is nice when you're working with small squares and fingering yarn. Um, so that's pretty much it for that. And then I'm having a lot of yarn left over after I finish my squares, so I cast on, I didn't cast on, this is crochet. Um, I started a corner to corner blanket using what is left of my skeins. So it's, it's too big to show nicely. I have on here the uh, TARDIS, the TARDIS journal uh, stitch marker that was in the second Companions mini set. My next work in progress is in this bag. It is a pretty Alice in Wonderland print that I've wanted for a long time. Uh, this particular bag is by Catches the New Black on Etsy. And inside of here, I have my No Frills sweater that I have been working on for, seems like forever. Um, but here's, that's the wrong side. Uh, it's kind of hard to show, but I have finished the body and one sleeve. And this is another stitch marker from Simply Serving, Boogie Boogie. Uh, she had this in a Halloween update not too long ago, and I just had to have it. Speaking of Simply Serving, I also have a Zero Progress Keeper on here because he is just so cute. I could not, could not resist. He's my favorite character in the Nightmare Before Christmas movie. And then I just have a little bit more to go on the sleeve and then I'm done. Um, for this pattern go grab the yarn. For this pattern I am using um, Hey Sister Yarn Company in the Alonsi sock base with the Blossom colorway. So here it is in a skein. 
Um, this was part of their final update. They decided that they're no longer going to be making yarn or dyeing yarn. And I love their yarn so much, so I kind of panicked and ordered like six skeins. Um, <laughs> and I did have a plan for the for the blossom. Um, for the no frill sweater and for that I'm holding it together with just knit pixel loft mohair in the color blush um, And so far I'm I'm loving it I was really happy that I could that I was able to grab some of their last skeins of yarn um, I also have bought two skeins of their patina colorway on their Alonsi sock base and I just I loved this color I got two skeins of it I did not have a project in mind for this but I'm sure I will find something um, so if you have any ideas of what to do with two skeins of sock weight yarn let me know um, but I was just so excited to to be able to get some um, their updates usually sell out pretty quickly, so I wanted to make sure I got to be a part of that. And the no frill sweater, I'm knitting in a size large, and I'm using a size 6 needle for that, um, which I think is a little bit bigger than it calls for. Um, and then my next whip is in this bag by Mrs. S Creations. I love, um, it's just a perfect size for like socks. Maybe a, maybe a shawl could fit in here too. I love this handle um, that I can take off if I need to. And then on the inside, it's just a navy. And then in here, I have two skeins of my yarn that um, I dyed up while experimenting. It's, I'm not a professional yarn dyer, so it's not perfect. Um, but these are the Whispers in the Wind socks. Uh, the pattern is by the Crazy Sock Lady. Um, I'm knitting this in the size large, and these are on a size 1, 2.25 millimeter needle. Uh, these are Chagu Red Lace, which are my favorite. Um, and then the yarn is a purpley, mauvey color. Um, there's some white patches in there, but that's okay. I am not a professional yarn dyer. Um, let's see. And then those are coming along really well. Um, I love the pattern. It's so pretty. I had to get it as soon as it came out. Um, the, I like that it's really simple, but it still looks really pretty. Um, the cables are not actually cables, so it's pretty simple and easy to follow along with. Um, next I have, uh, this is probably my favorite project that I'm working on right now. It is in a Sandy by the Lakeside project bag which I love if you can if you can be quick enough to be part of one of her updates I highly recommend getting one of her bags they are very good quality I love the uh, fabric on the inside too and in here I have my stoker shawl by Kristen Lair of Bull and Vine and it is so pretty I love it so much this is my progress so far. It's kind of hard to show because it's still on the needles, but I love these baubles with the lacy bit in the middle. So pretty. Um, here I have a, a Alice in Wonderland uh, playing card. And this it's such a good pattern, guys. I had to have it as soon as it came out. It was so pretty. And I am knitting that on a size 10 needle, which is 
quite a bit bigger than um, what is recommended in the pattern, but I still didn't get gauge. Um, it's still too small, so we'll see. We'll see, we'll see how it goes. Um, the yarn I'm using is Yarn B Soft and Sleek DK in the Cloud Control colorway. Um, I just picked that up from Hobby Lobby. And so far I'm loving, loving working on that. Um, I have been pacing myself. Uh, I'm knitting a section at a time, kind of made a deal with myself. <laughs> I knit the first section and then I'm gonna finish my no frill sweater and then I get to knit the second section and hopefully, hopefully progress will be made. Hey, hey puppy, hey puppy. Puppy's back, the co-host is, is back to check and see how things are going. Good girl, off, oh, good girl. Okay, so what else? Um, I have here a little, this is a little project bag that came, this is also from Kitches the New Black. Um, this actually came with the Alice in Wonderland bag that I ordered. I love, I love this pattern, this uh, print. I believe it's from Rifle Paper Company. So, if you could not tell, I have a thing for this print. <laughs> um, but I didn't get to pick this bag out myself, but it's perfect. It's a great size for socks, um, which I always have a pair of socks on the go because my husband loves hand-knit socks, so always try to have a pair going for him so I have these socks um, they're just vanilla knitting um, I just cast on I think I do 64 stitches for him um, and my stitch marker if I can get it to hold still is um, a clock it's from my husband got it for me for Christmas as a package of um, other Doctor Who themed stitch markers. Um, what else is there to say about this? I'm knitting them on a nine inch chow goo circular needle, which really makes them fly when I have time to just sit down and work on a sock. I usually take these with me in the car or to the doctor's office or something, somewhere I don't have to really focus too much on what I'm, what I'm doing. <laughs> um, so let's see what else. This is the coffee out of my favorite coffee mug. I love pigs. And uh, we're trying a new flavor of coffee today. It's called mocha chocolate. It's really good. If you like, if you like coffee, if you like mocha, I highly recommend it. It's very good. Um, we just got it at Target, so it's not that expensive. <laughs> um, but I use this mug year-round because it's my very favorite. And I love pigs, I love Christmas, so I don't discriminate. Any time of year is a great time to use my favorite Christmas mug. So, all right, so another reason, another thing I wanted to talk about, another reason for me starting this podcast is so that I can tackle my giant whip basket. I brought over here as you can see it is completely full it's a pretty good sized basket completely full of whips that maybe I will finish them maybe maybe I won't <laughs> um so put that down it's kind of heavy um and that's not even it doesn't even have all of my whips in it unfortunately so Hopefully, uh, this podcast will help me keep myself accountable and help me to finish things a little bit faster. I'm not, I'm not really a slow knitter. I just, I get distracted. I get bored. I want to cast on all the things. So, um, so I do. And my husband is an enabler. So if I'm missing yarn or I don't have the right size needle, I try to all say, well, Maybe when I finish whatever whip, then I will go and I will get the yarn, I will get the needles. And my husband is just like, let's go get, let's go get whatever you need to work on this, which is really good and can be kind of, kind of difficult. So 
Ben, you're not helping with the uh, whip basket situation that you complain about. He doesn't really complain, but he makes mention of, of my giant overflowing whip basket sometimes, so you're not helping, but. <laughs> All right, so moving on to acquisitions. I don't really have a lot of acquisitions this week. Um, I did really want to participate in the Bad Wolf Girl Studios Trick or Treat Mystery Club, which I was very excited about. She's posting teasers on Instagram, and I just, I couldn't control myself. I couldn't, I couldn't stop it. It just, it just jumped into my cart, and... Here it is. Um, I ordered the Trix colorway, which was the darker, the darker colors. There's the label. And I just, I love, I love the colors that she put in here. They are so nice. Um, I love this like orange and purple here. And then the mini has these little pops of like green and purple and it's just, I can't wait to cast on socks, guys. I can't. I can't. I have no self-control, <laughs> as I think we've already established. Um, another thing I wanted to talk about on here was some dream knitting and sewing. Um, once I finish my no frill sweater, I have plans to cast on the high tide sweater by Megan Reagan of the Bad Wolf Girl Sits and Knits podcast. Um, I have, I have all the yarn and everything to start that, so as soon as I finish my no frills, I'm going to try to contain myself to push through another one of the whips that I showed on here, and then I'm gonna maybe cast on the high tide sweater. I changed my mind a lot too, so, um, that makes it extra difficult with the number of whips that I have at all times. Let me adjust that. Maybe that's a little better. Um, the next thing on my list of things that I want to knit in the future are the cable steed cardigan that um, the crazy sock lady has showed as her Rhinebeck sweater this year, um, which Rhinebeck was last weekend, and I did not get to go, but that's okay. <laughs> and uh, she showed her finished cardigan and I just I, I fell in love with it and um, as far as sewing I'm not as big of a sewer but watching the Volan Bind podcast really inspires me to want to be a better sewer um, I participated in Kristen's Brumby sew along so I have a Brumby skirt now that I'm not thrilled with how it turned out but I did I finished it <laughs> So that's got to count for something. Um, but she has showed recently her fantail skirt, which I love. I, as soon as I saw the picture, I showed my husband. And I was like, I have to have this. We, we have to make this happen. So, and then in the picture that she showed, um, she was also wearing her Agnes tee that they just, they look so good together. So I definitely have plans to make both of those in the future. Um, other than that, um, I also have been reading a lot more. So, uh, Once Upon a Corgi talks a lot about, um, books that she likes to read and she seems to have similar interests that I do. So, I have been trying for several months now to get a hold of at least one of the books that she has mentioned on her podcast, which is harder than it sounds, um, but I was finally able to get a hold of A Discovery of Witches by Deborah Harkness that it's, it's really good. It's so good. I can, it's hard to find the time to sit down and read, but when I do, I can, I can blow through like four or five chapters without even, without even noticing that the time is, has passed. It's, it's that good. And I, I love books that you can just, just blow right through because you just can't put it down. So that's pretty much, that's all I have to talk about this week. Um, so thank you so much for joining me. And, um, if you liked the podcast, please be sure to like and subscribe and let me know what you think. Um, so thanks. <laughs>